Hello and welcome to the lesson Proportional Division of a Line. The question is Using a ruler and a pair of compasses only, draw a line AB is equal 7 cm long, construct angle BAC, which is 67.5 degrees, use line AC to divide AB into three equal parts. So that is the question. Now we shall begin by drawing line and you're supposed to use a pair of compasses and a ruler only drawing line a b so we draw line a b so that is uh, point a point a is there Remember that you're supposed to take a um, measurement of 7. AB should be 7 centimeters. So let me take 7 centimeters. So I like to take 7 centimeters. So we've taken 7 centimeters. So that radius is 7 centimeters. So mark that is where B will, B will be here. So that line is 7 centimeters. Then the other thing, we're supposed to construct. There's something you're supposed to construct. And that is... Uh, and go BAC, go BAC, which should be 67.5 degrees. So how are you supposed to construct 67 and a half degrees? So if you multiply uh, 67 and a half degrees by 2, you notice that you have 135. So 135 degrees is what is going to guide us. So for us to get 100 and... Uh, 35, we need to construct a number of, so I'll just uh, do a sketch here. This space will be enough. So if I construct 90 degrees, and then on this side, I construct uh, 45, 45 degrees, the whole of this angle that is here, I will get this one as 135. Then I will bisect I will bisect uh, 135 in order to have 67 and a half, 67 and a half. So that is what I'm going to do. So I will start by constructing 90 degrees. So start by constructing 90 degrees at A. So to construct a number of 90 degrees, of course you know how you're supposed to do that. Uh, to construct a number of 90 degrees. So you just stand there using your pair of compasses. So stand here. And then um, you mark an arc there. And then you mark another arc there. So mark those two arcs. Then standing on this arc, standing on that arc, and you can use any radius here now. You mark knock there. Then the same same radius. They're changing that radius. You cut that arc. So when you join, when you join this point of intersection of the arcs. When you join these, this will give you 90 degrees. So after constructing 90, we need to bisect that. We need to construct 45 here. So we bisect. So now we want to bisect this angle. So you mark an arc there. And then you mark another arc here. 
so let me bring it closer so mark those two arcs then standing on this arc that is here or standing on that arc to bring this one a bit closer you can see it so you need to to bisect that angle say do you stand here you mark an arc you mark that arc then that arc mark those two arcs like that that arc that arc. so you stand here on this arc then mark an arc connect there standing at that point then stand on the other arc and cut that arc so now you join join the point of intersection of this arc now this one will give uh, 45 degrees that will give 45 degrees and since we don't need uh, 45 degrees we don't need 45 degrees we need 105 the the rest of the angle is uh, 135 so we need to bisect that angle to get 67 so to bisect uh, this angle you stand here the pair of compasses you stand there then you mark an arc the same same radius mark an arc like that so mark that arc and uh, mark that arc so standing on this arc that you made here standing on that arc connect there with the same radius same radius then the same radius cut this arc like that so with that you'll be bisecting 135 so now you can join you can join these So now we have this angle as 67.5 degrees. Now that is how you construct an angle of 67.5 degrees. So we started by constructing 90. So we constructed 90 here is 90. Then on the left hand side, we have 90. On the right hand side, you have 90. So we bisected the 90 degrees on the left hand side. So we got 45, 45. So once you got that 5 here, the remaining angle is 105 based on the sum of angles on a straight line. So we need to bisect that and that is what we've done. We bisected 135 in order to get 67 half. So this is 67 and then also this one is 67 uh, but we need this only so that means that c point c lies on this line point c lies on this line and this is the line that you're supposed to use to divide a b into three parts you're supposed to use uh, remember the question is use use um ac to divide to divide ab into three equal parts use ac to divide ab into three equal parts now what you're going to do this is what you call proportional division of a line so we shall take our pair of compasses and stand at a then we make uh, three just choose any convenient radius in a convenient radius and then um, you make three divisions three divisions equal division so that is the first division so that is the first division you make you make a second one make a second one and then the third one since you're dividing 
that line into three equal parts. I repeat, standard A. Now standing at A. That is the first division. We're dividing into three parts. So this is the line that you're supposed to use AC to divide. So C should be at this point, the last point there. This is where C will be. Now, after dividing uh, that line, making three equal divisions. So the first one is here, the second one is here, and the third one is here. Since we want to divide this line, remember we're dividing this line AB into three equal parts. So we join the last one, the last point, which is C. Join the last point. This is uh, the last point to B. So join that. So join that. And then, what we need to do now is to draw another line like this to divide uh, AB. Another one should begin from this point. These lines should be parallel to CB. The lines that you're going to draw here, one line will pass through this point here. The other one will pass through this point. Those lines must be parallel to CB. They must be parallel to CB. So, to do this, we need to take a set square. Show you how to draw this line. Take a, a set square. So this is a set square. And then the ruler. And this is how you're supposed to place it. Just check the way I've placed my set square and the ruler. Just ensure that you place it like that. So check the way I've placed my ruler. And um, so this is a set square. It should be straight, lie on that line, then the ruler. So holding firm, the ruler should not move. You hold the ruler firmly so that it doesn't move. Then you slide. You slide. You slide like that until you reach at this point. So that's why you have reached here. So from there, you draw a line. This is the, this is the first point that you want. So let me go downwards and then repeat again. I need to drop downwards a little bit. So let me begin again. So please, your ruler should be firm. <coughs> should be firm like this. Should not move. What should move is the set square. This is what should move. So beginning from there now. Beginning from there, showing that it lies straight line like that. Then you slide like that until the last point touches this point so you draw that line like that the sliding so you draw then continue pressing your ruler and sliding the set square up to the other point so the other point is here so the other point is here so you draw a line again there so let me repeat. So this is where you started. Started from there. So sliding, pressing the ruler family. <clears throat> the only thing that should move is um, set square. So that is the first point. We drew a line from there. Uh, then you continue sliding until it touches the other point here. So you draw. A line draw a line so the points are that you are using this point and this point here the other point so you can see how we draw lines that are parallel to CB so that way that way we draw a line there then like this you draw a line so that is how you draw and you notice that these lines should be parallel so now 
we have been able to divide equally uh, AB into three parts. So these measurements. So this one, this line should be equal to that, should be equal to that. So that is how we divide AB into three equal parts.